Uh, okay, so let's uh, please give this uh, a quick pass. So I think that's enough for me to determine. Um, sure. Uh, can we switch over the microphone? Something like this. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, because then I'm leaning into it. And so with this one, since <clears throat> the uh, SM7 has its capsule like in the end of the barrel, for this one we're gonna increase uh, the distance a little bit between the the pop filter and, and the. Let's see if I can spot the lyrics through the through the grill. Does that work? Yeah, I'll, if it's okay, I'll just move this over a little bit. I can see it this side. Yeah, this is perfect. So Ooh. it is a little bit unorthodox to track uh, rough uh, vocals in this uh, <laughs> in this type of room, but uh, I mean, it sounds fucking great. So this is also more forgiving. I I I'd guess with proximity, it says that I I move a lot more. Um, well, of course, I try to, try to make it consistent. Yeah, yeah. No, the, the, condenser, a... the condenser is more uh, forgiving, yes. With that one, you, you should really try to be in there. Mm. And for that one, I should say that it's perfectly all right to also grab the microphone if you want mm. to. Okay, let's try this. Right, so let's take this bad boy from this input instead. Ishan? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, that's a bit louder. That's <laughs> loud. Okay, let me uh, go out and adjust the preamp. Let's try that. <laughs> I am gonna <laughs> run out and lower it a little bit more. This is not very conservative in terms of uh, compression levels. Should I come come in there and like we absolutely, maybe? absolutely. Okay. What's probably more important than the, the technical aspect here now is what can deliver the best performance. So whatever Ishan feels happy with, even if that would be just a psych, uh, psychological factor, is uh, the most important to me. Anything else uh, can always be worked around, so to speak. Which of these microphones did you did, did you get a sensation that one was like felt better than the other to sing with? In, initially, because I. It's just that it's more more open and more detailed. Uh, the 67, you know, being a large diaphragm thing, it feels like I have more control mm -hmm. of, um, you know, I, I sing more into it and kind of use the sounds that are somewhat unpredictable, mm -hmm. you know, but mm -hmm. the, I, I don't feel I get the same control when singing into like the dynamic. Mm -hmm. It's more of a narrow. Lens, if yeah, you but then I think it settles it because. Uh, yeah, but it all depends, you know, if if the one sounds better, you know, my performance will probably be. No, I think the completely the opposite. Okay. For me, it's always about the performance. But, I, but I'd love to, you know, hear, hear it. it. Yeah, sure, sure. Your voice paired with um, one of these microphones. I know that from mixing a bunch of your albums as well. <laughs> that I usually have to work quite a lot uh, post to, um, to tame the highs a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, to package it. With the SM7, I, like, I get that packaging uh, already on the input okay, yeah. quite a lot. But it really doesn't matter to me. You know, There are ways for me to, to, uh, to work around that. So mm -hmm. the, the most important thing is what delivers the goods uh, the best, so, so to speak. Yeah, sure. It's a, I guess, uh, you know, it's... But, but you can hear... This, it's the, a, it's the, a fine line, definitely. Yeah, you can hear the difference in sound here, if you, if you wish. Mm -hmm. So the uh, SM7... And then we have the U67. I see what you're you're saying, and uh, the transparency that I feel when I performed into the 67 becomes 
gives it more of a loose character. Mm -hmm. So, you know, listening back to it, I guess I prefer... The SM7? Yeah, because it, it sounds more like my finished performance. So it's a, it's a tough one. Because your performance now, the U67, was way better than the other one, but that could just have been a, maybe... A... Yeah, but, but again, that's yeah, me. I, how to know what it is. Yeah. But I, so, think, I, I guess I felt more control of how, how I articulate. And so um, if you can mix it so that it comes <laughs> out in a similar way as the SM7, I guess no, we but, get the both, best of both worlds. Yeah. <laughs> if I can listen back once, one once more. Yeah, yeah, of course. Maybe also in, in solo, even though that's, of course, not... But just for to, to listen to my own, you know, the details of what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. oh, this time Under infant calls predictable Where seasons they instigate A new crusade All oh, these timely hours Under infant calls predictable Where seasons they instigate A new crusade the difference wasn't that that big. The difference is fairly small, smaller than I thought. <laughs> I'm listening to it in solo. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I think um, probably, as you say, my performance will probably be better with a more expensive mic. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I, it, it it felt like uh, the the delivery was more on point. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, I, I, I guess in, the heat, was... in the heat of the moment, I. But I, I think that's why I, I've often. You know, ended up having. I tried both because I have an SM7 myself, yeah, and yeah. but you never compressed like this though. When when record, you say that you don't, usually don't compress when you record at home. Mm -hmm. So maybe then I could see why you have an issue of getting the the return. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm absolutely fine with whatever. So whatever you feel mm -hmm. will make you deliver the best. Yeah, as, yeah, as it's just like immediately when I heard the six the six and seven, I heard that okay. I have control of my voice. I'm completely fine with this. Let, let's roll with the 67 then. Perfect. Okay, so normally when working with the grunt vocals, I try to avoid getting into the clean vocal mode where you do a shitload of takes and uh, sort through them afterwards and do this uh, complex uh, comping kind of things. Usually, you know, try to find uh, a good uh, set and um, uh, when it works, it works. Then maybe, you know, if the voice is okay, try one more. If it feels like it's declining, then okay, skip it. Let's use the one that was good. And I might do some uh, timing editing um, afterwards. Or I might do like um, A, B, A, B kind of recording. So um, first line, second line, first line, second line on different tracks and build the uh, comp and tracking as I go. Uh, that's usually the best scenario for rough vocals. But um, since you want to do the full chorus in the take, it's not going to be possible for me to do that. I just need to, like, you know, let him pass, uh, do his passes, and then we, uh, when he feels uh, that he's happy and uh, don't want to, uh, can't go on anymore or whatever, uh, or if I feel that, oh shit, that was amazing, uh, or maybe, and he uh, agrees then uh, we would just move on to the other one unless he want to rest and then we could listen to it together. But it's not going to be the amount of uh, 15, 20 takes here. It might end up you know, with four or five or, or, or six or 32. We'll see. First chorus. Unless you want to do the second one, but I think it makes sense. Um... Yeah, because then I know the kind of the, the grade of intensity that I do on the first one. And then I can lean into it a bit more on the second one. Yeah. Absolutely. So, and also, I think if I'm in the, you know, the voice works and everything, I think as soon as we, you feel we have what we need for the first chorus, we should probably, you know, move on quite fast to the second one. It's something about, you know, not getting too much variety when I, when I'm kind of in the voice zone. Absolutely. <laughs> and since this is the first time I track you. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna have to give me um, indications as well. You know when you felt that if now felt, the I'm voice happy. locked in. Yeah, um, yeah, sure, sure. Now it works fine, um, and um, um, also the opposite. You know, maybe I hmm. feel that oh, that sounded excellent, and you think that well, actually, I have I have better stuff in me. Sure, sure, sure. 
let's try this then. Let's try this and uh, whenever you're ready. Yeah. And, and what about the no? Uh, you don't need a click or anything. You hear the drums properly and uh, everything. Uh, f- maybe, maybe you could turn up the drums a little bit, if unless I have them on a separate. Uh, you do have them there on, on, on a separate. Yeah, I'll, I'll just turn them up. Yeah. Nice. I did the, the there was a wrong word there, but it, as as you can hear, compared to my, you know, the scratch tracks we did, I if you think it sounds okay, I'm doing like a more um, even, you know, pitch throughout the the first chorus, and then I will do more variety for the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it sounds great. I love the delivery. It sounds amazing. Thank you. I am compressing pretty heavily now on to tape, mm-hmm. which makes your breaths like <sighs> come through as loud as your voice. Which I'm a heavy uh, breather. Yeah, I love it. You know, it's, <laughs> it creates the intensity. Hit me. Nice. I want to hear you sing that transition live, going into that choir part. Mm-hmm. In, in oh yeah, <laughs> but um, no, I, I feel you know I think we're on the right track. If if it sounds good in there, because it's it's more of a plain, you know. I love it. You know, yeah. I, I'm amazed how you can actually keep that on and uh, finish with that last long note, and it sounds like you're not affected. You know, I would start, I would die in a cough attack halfway through <laughs> this course. This sounds great. It would be interesting to hear if we did one take on the first half and then did one take on the second half. Uh, you know, you know your voice better than me. And mm-hmm. like I said, I'm amazed that how, how that it actually goes on this well. But it's, it's, it's one of these things, especially since it's uh, this kind of, it, it goes really into each other. And then, you know, to get the breaths in the right place, like from experience, it's better if you get the full thing. It, or if you felt it was less energetic in the end. Nah, I, I don't really. Um, it would just be so interesting to, to hear it. For something like this, like, per se, hear this. It, it's kind of the part of, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I, I, we, we could try it if you want, but it's, uh, to, uh, personally, I, I don't see a point to it. I'm not, I can't see how that would help me, as my voice eventually will wear out. Yeah. Maybe we should, because I have an idea of maybe doing this chorus, you know, doing it a, one version where I'm, I'm a bit more in vari- variation, so it's not that stale. Mm-hmm. Maybe we could do uh, your ID for, for the second chorus, where I'm kind of, might, you know, use even more energy. So it's probably an, an ID better utilized okay. for the second part. Uh, let's do that then. <clears throat> Let, okay, let's... so one, one more pause on this chorus and then we do next. Okay, only if you uh, feel that you need it because this last pass sounding amazing. Yeah. 
So it's more, it's a bit more variety, I think. Yeah. In... Not sure it's better. Uh, no, not sure. For this first course, uh, but also very, very good. Should we move on to the last and then let's do know, that? Then we go, uh, go back if it's too much of a different. Then uh, we go back. We because uh, then uh, at the uh, at the second chorus, I also want to go. You know, now I wait like boom, ah, this. And from the from the for the second chorus, I want to come in on the one with like building up this scream. Yes. That's something really good. Oh, thank you. I loved it. Even the scream? Yes, that's the thing, right? I think this was the trick. To like just do it really quiet and low. Yeah, yeah. At least that's how I'm used to hearing it and I like it. 